No, it's wired actually. <laughs> oh. I but mean, it is wireless. Why would why it would is wireless? But it's better to be Jeff, wired. Why would Jeff ever go wireless? Seriously, Jeff has a janky thing. So it was wireless. Now it's wired. <laughs> no one is surprised. Well, this is this is way too high tech. I'm going to need to add some wires. In fact, when it's wireless, he just tapes wires to it. <laughs> can, can I read the thing now, please? I'm, I'm old Greg. Greg. I'm old Greg. Old Greg. Old Greg says, stop tricking your Baileys out of a shoe and welcome to Everyone Racers, a show designed for the world of low dollar racing and oddball car culture. And Baileys. Yes. It doesn't matter what kind of La Champ or Lucky Track Dog you run, SCCA or NASA, we won't discriminate. We even think you drift though hell flush peeps are, right? As long as you drive it hard and built it yourself. Join us each week for tech discussion, tips, tricks, as well as news and notes in the world of low-dollar endurance racing, whether it's on the spot, hella sweet, or but terrible, we're lucky enough to get just the tip from Chrissy. We're sure you're going to giggle a little and learn even less. Everyone report to the paddock. This is Chris. This is Chrissy. I'm Jeff. And I'm Mental. And we are Everyone Racers. Thanks for coming back to listening to another Mother Road episode of our podcast, this is episode 66, and if you're not driving a car currently, and you're definitely not on videotape, uh, do, do they tape those those driver things, Chrissy? Oh, Wait. yeah, you're on videotape. Oh, yes. 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 About that. Only if you do something I was, wrong. I was driving with Chrissy, and I, and I, or I was driving you, with my wife, and I texted Chrissy a picture mm-hmm. of one of her trucks. And she suggested that I drive in front of it and slam on the brakes so she could see the video. <laughs> no, don't do any of yeah, that. That's what I said. Don't do that. But please don't <laughs> forget, get out your E1R bingo card. Link in the show notes. I'm going to open one up right now for myself. Mm-hmm. Eh, eh, eh. Yeah. Pat, I hate yeah. you. Yeah. Eh. Wow. Open that's link. Good, huh? I found Come it. On. I'm good. <laughs> Everyone will wait, Jeff. It's okay. Why don't we just don't move worry. on to what you're working on? Okay. Right. What you working that? on? Chris. Christopher, why don't you start? Um, Christmas? There's that. There's that. Are you eating <laughs> gummy yeah, trash cans again? Sorry. Like, I didn't think I was going week. Mm-hmm. <sighs> you lose your space. It's a sour The patch, other Chris. Yeah. Go next. <laughs> Which, Which one? one? I would be mental. I don't know. Oh, okay. okay, so yeah, I'm working on. Um, we're 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 further purging our household. We sold all of our bookshelves, all of our IKEA shelves, um, and a bunch of other rando crap I found in my garage. And then uh, I sent you guys all a a picture today of my burn barrel because that's what I've been doing is burning all the leaves in my backyard because it's Georgia and we can do that kind of crap down here. And uh, just uh, generally being unemployed. So my last day, day my drinking? last day, yeah, day drink. Well, we haven't, well, afternoon day drinking. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm trying to be responsible well, about it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but we, um, we, we, uh, my last day at work as a teacher was the 21st of December. My cadets, Sumir, a lovely combat dining in going away and they met the new guy. And now I am actually just a part-time bus driver for the month of January <laughs> Cherokee, for Cherokee County. So yeah. And, and I'm when a, does the new gig start? I don't know yet. They're still waiting on my medical to clear. And I imagine there's a few civilians who suddenly find themselves unemployed courtesy of our government shutdown. So I don't know how fast that'll happen, but yeah, whatever. Selling the house. There you go. Cool. Cool. I'm done with my Sour Patch Kids, so I guess All right, I'll, I'll go ahead. Now, right? uh, after uh, Christmas, I also played Handyman at my mom's house. That was a present to her of half a day of fixing whatever little odd things you need fixed. So did stuff all around the house there. Yes, mental. Now, was that a gift you gave her, or was that a gift that she gave you the opportunity <laughs> to give her of? Come You're to my so house right. and fix my crap. No, I, I gave it to her. Yeah. Mostly it's because I didn't want to go shopping with her and Chrissy, and this is a great excuse for me not to. So that's what I did. 
Uh, and, so well, Chris you, jumped on that grenade. Chrissy jumped I on did. a grenade. I did. All night I was like, you owe me. You owe me more. You yeah. owe me again. And yeah, I was yeah. like, I spent all day with her. Fortunately, yeah. she's not a listener. So, um, yeah. I know. Uh, <laughs> she's not wrong. Uh, okay. Hey, uh, I, Chrissy, Chrissy, you taped over your blue lights. So we're not going to get the. Uh, the oh, tech. how about me too? Yes, I did that today. <laughs> uh-huh. It's been driving me crazy yeah. for weeks or a year. <laughs> Actually, a well, year and a half is all we've been doing this five, show. But yeah. all a long time. <laughs> I also did more backsplash. The backsplash is all on now. It just needs to be grouted. So hey, I even hey. fixed one one broken tile tonight. And That's started dope. to figure out the light the wiring for new lights in the basement workshop because it has no lights, which makes it totally useless. But now that all the IKEA cabinets are out of there, I actually make a workshop down there, but I need some lights first to start. So that's that. Here. Very cool. Here's a picture. Yep. Uh, oh, uh, it's focus camera focus. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold oh, on. Hold. Nice. Wait a minute. I For mean, those in listener land, Chrissy is showing a phone picture of our kitchen to. I mean, I'm upstairs. I can't bring my you, cam- the camera. You've completely down. changed the dynamic because you removed the kind of like the breakfast nook counter thing. Yeah. Yep. Whoa. It's oh, yeah. way better now. Met- Mental hasn't been there in a while. Yeah. yeah. No, the last time I was there, we recorded a live podcast. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, no, the next time I will probably, the next time I'll be there will probably be in what? April? You're assuming your medical is going to come through. I imagine imagine you're January 15th, like. Oh, it doesn't matter. This new bone spurs was a thing. (laughs) It doesn't (laughs) matter. This, this house still gets sold and we still load up the RV and head to Vegas. So yeah, whether or not I got a job doesn't matter. We're still moving out there. Cool. Nice. Cool. Chrissy, what you working Uh, on? Uh, same as Chris has been doing. Went to Christina's. I put detox on my thing here because all we did was eat and drink for the last like six days. So we took off Friday. Um, we worked on getting the house prepped because we needed to leave all of our stuff and in good shape and Christmas presents wrapped and everything for Christmas because we went to Christina's before Christmas. Uh, then we went to had Christmas Eve at my aunt and uncle's house and then everybody came to our house. So we really needed everything already done and we continued to eat and drink the whole time and now we're here cleaning and that kind of stuff planning for a new year's party you guys want to come new year's party i will be flying on new year's Mm. fine we're going to be in uh the downtown square of marietta which we we have spent our last three uh new year's eve watching the the giant drop of the big chicken oh hey mental that's all i got with all the stuff you've been purging have you happened to sell a car truck bike or boat I'm not selling any bikes. Damn. Did, why would did I, you come in? Why would I sell a boat? Please stop <laughs> bingo starting up. Uh, I will go now. Mm-hmm. Please. So it, it, we, are, we are recording the show the day after the day after Christmas. And I have had three Christmases in the past three days, two of which I have done all of, not all of the cooking, a, a but ton crap load of cooking uh my father who is 74 who auto crosses the miata and i gave him the miata so yeah like don't don't even try to talk tough because we all know your dad and he's he's a badass yeah yeah well he was oh my gosh my pc is running low i will say this and then battery is low (laughs) low. my battery is low uh, so my, yes. my 74 year old father, uh, the week, two weeks before Christmas was golfing in the snow and ice got up in his golf spikes and he slipped and broke his tibia. Oh, no. So he has not moved off the couch wow. in th- it, right now. It is like three weeks or three and a half weeks, 20 some days. Uh, all he does is like tweet something odd about Trump change the channel and ask my mother to do something like get me a glass of water or bring me to the bathroom. So he is not allowed to put any pressure on his foot and he cannot get up and down stairs. So my mother had to surprise host Christmas Eve and Christmas day. Cause he doesn't move cause he can't get out of the house. So yeah. no, I, I can't, I, I, I wonder who is being driven more crazy. No, oh, it, it's <laughs> absolutely your, your my mother, mother who is a saint. Your dad, who again can't stand not moving, 
Yeah. No, so... no, he, he is quite enjoying his time on the couch, I think. <laughs> uh, my mother is going to smother with a pillow or fly to Brazil at oh, any oh, moment. I'm not oh. sure. You know what we call that? Yeah. When you put a pillow over somebody's head, you know, I say, you'll be quiet soon. <laughs> <laughs> You come yeah. from the most functional family <laughs> of all four hilarious. of us, and you guys have a nickname for strangling each other with a pillow. Hey, it's that's, suffocating, not strangling. That's yeah. alarming. A yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, I might have come up with it. No, I, I think you did. From, so, <laughs> I'm trying to bring this back to what I'm, I'm working on. So we do. No, we are no. we are Philly oh, Italians. No. So we do the meal of seven fish. So there is lots of cooking that has to be done, and I cooked my butt off. All those things that usually you bait a hook with, I was cooking, including salted cod and schmelts, and uh, it was it was a lot of cooking. Mm, and then Christmas Day, I fried a turkey, and we did a couple of other things. So I've been cooking. Go ahead, Mental. So I actually listened to an NPR episode about that, the seven fish, and no one can find the origin of it. Yes, nobody. It is uniquely Italian, and no one can even define what seven fish it is because every Italian family has a different tradition of the seven fish. Well, apparently it includes the stick type, but... uh... (laughs) Oh, no, <laughs> we, no fish. We abs- oh, we absolutely had the stick type and the clam strips. Mm-hmm. No, we don't have any of that. Shrimp. We, we don't have the, no, we the have shrimp. We fish. Have the mick fish is one of the fish types <laughs> as well. Yeah. So, <laughs> so since I have to run upstairs and See grab fish a cord, witch, right? I will uh, finish wait, my... Wait, 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 wait. Jeff, I'm sorry. Is there yes. a cord issue? Yes, there's I a cord issue. I just need to know. Yeah, okay. No, thank you. You can all check off your bingo. Oh, Jeff man. has a technical problem. No, no, no. There's, there's so... actually a specific one. This is Jeff Cord. For Jeff. Jeff needs a cord. So today was cleaning. I had to clean the oil from all the frying that went on. I took the roof rack off the Mazda 3. I fixed oh, the snow blower. Right. Oh. I messed with the CT70. I actually was... How, how can you be a hipster today. without a? How can you be a hipster? <laughs> He's going to get seriously breath. better gas mileage. I, it hurts the gas mileage. It yes, also it is a pain in the butt to sweep the snow off. <laughs> yeah, it is. So this is really snow prep. Got it. But it looks tough. Uh, I love the look of the three with the roof rack. So, me hipster. too. The only way to be Stupid more hipster, hipster is to have a Volvo 240. With a roof rack. With a roof rack, yeah. Oh, uh, well, there's no roof rack going on. My nerd wagon, period, nut. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, we can move on now? <laughs> yep. We can. Uh, stuck. And again, hold on. I think Jeff is stuck. Yeah. Jeff, see? <laughs> well, because he ran out of batteries. He so. ran out of batteries. He had to go get a cord. <laughs> All right. But I, I was going to actually say, Jeff no longer gets to do the transitions because Chrissy, who hates it the most... Does the best job. So, Chrissy, please. Oh, it's okay. In Tesla fire news, Tesla Model S reportedly bursts into flames twice after getting a flat tire. Ooh, that was on my, I have it on my card. Woohoo. Um, okay. Has, it, has anybody heard this story? I told Chris about it, so no. he's already heard it. Okay. So, owners driving on the highway. Vehicle says one tire has rapid drop in pressure. Okay. I have a flat tire. Then it's towed to the auto shop. Then it catches fire. And then it catched fire again. So, <laughs> and, and this is like, if there, the link is in here. It's not a small fire. So the representative said Tesla vehicles catch fire less often than average vehicle. When a Tesla vehicle does catch fire, the fire spreads more slowly than a gas-powered car, giving occupants more time to exit the vehicle, the representative added. This vehicle had 1,200 miles on it. And the video is going to be in the show notes because this is a bit, it's a pretty big fire, but it's funny because they get a flat tire, then the kid, then the car catches fire and it's for no reason. It's just sitting in the parking lot and there's people like running around it like, oh, and this, yeah, like I said, not a small fire. Yeah. So Tesla catches fire. So be fire. careful. So now we have two, two weeks in a row with Tesla fire news. That's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even remember where I saw it, but I was like, huh, Tesla fire news. And the thing you... is, it's, I'll actually buy that, that Teslas catch fire less than, well, any of our lunatic racing friends. Because how many fires have we – we don't even freak out when we see like a regular gas fire anymore. Yeah. No, I think I still care when gas catches fire. 
I care, but I don't. I'm like, oh, fire. Go it, get the you know, against the general, out. I can see Tesla being less on fire than the general populace of cars, including all the old janky heaps. But if you compare it to something similar in price range, like a, a new E-Class, I don't imagine yeah. those catch fire a whole lot. <laughs> well, well, you're right. There's a lot of Ferraris out there that just never catch fire ever, right? No, they do. Because <laughs> they're terrible, but... I don't know. Yes. Anyway. Well, um, no, that, I remember that the entire first generation of four or five eights, they were notorious because the, the catalytic converters would overheat. And I were, were, were either of you guys instructing with extreme experience when they had the straight piped for our white one? Yeah. It sounded amazing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Love that car. And that was a direct result of the, uh, Fire. the first generation of those cars with the catalytic converters that are overheating. And their their chief technician said, I know exactly what's happening here, and I know exactly what I'm going to do. And you just yank the catalytic converters off of them and put straight pipes on it, which was glorious. For off-road use only. <laughs> there, there's a uh, – uh, I'm trying to remember which Ferrari it is. It's the one that's in Fast and Furious. Is it the 355? Doesn't I can't I think that much. The, yeah. No, uh, the original, the original black one, yeah. Because that was a 355. The, guy who, yep. the guy who played that, it was a 355 Spider. He was one of the producers. Yeah. And he actually had an extended dialogue that the director cut out of that and he even says in the director's notes, that's the joy of being a director is cutting all of your producer's lines. <laughs> There's uh, one that uh, that caught on fire on YouTube and is being passed around by some of my favorite YouTubers. <laughs> so uh, The car the, the video. The car, the, no, no, no. The car was bought by a YouTuber, uh, and he lent it to a different YouTuber, and it caught fire, and he got the footage on his cell phone. So then he bought it. The original YouTuber bought it off the insurance auction and like got it home and was like, oh, no, this is entirely too much work, and has <laughs> sent it off to another YouTuber who is now rebuilding it. And nice. they just took it apart. It's amazing. So, yeah, so if you watch Hoovy's Garage or um, i trying to remember what the other guy's name is, they're all friends with no, Doug Morrow. Nobody's yeah. got time for that. Yes. Yes, Actually, I do. Everybody you has too? time for that. That's but he they can't have, get like, the Citroen title videos. paperwork done, but he can watch <laughs> Hoovy's Garage. Because I can do that at midnight. I can't get the mm-hmm. uh, Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're yeah. busy. Damn it. I don't show. have that. I don't have that on my bingo card. I know. I'll say Citroen <laughs> wrong if you want. Citroen. Yes, doesn't Citroen. Matter. It does matter. All right. Oh, well. I have a story. Yeah. And it's on YouTube, so I guess it's on brand for me. Okay. Uh, 24 Hours of Lemons blogged their favorite, quote, new cars of 2018. It was all the cars that were debuted during the 2018 series. There's a link in the show notes. Everybody open it up because I'm going to ask you what your favorites are. But uh, we're not on it. I uh, will spoil the lead. Uh, well, not as, we didn't. We didn't introduce we didn't bring any anything. Fun. Yeah. I know. Yeah. So Mike and the Tiny Vet Boys were there with their Opal Cadet that they built at the Sacramento Auto Show. The Shelby Charger GLHS was there. The Scuderia. Oh, yeah, we, all, we all saw that at Road Atlanta. Oh wait, no, Jeff, you weren't there. No, I was there. The Scuderia oh. Fartari was there. That was Which amazing. Still awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Even, even after of... they dinged the uh, dinged the the wall with it, it was still a great car. Yeah, lots of trucks, lots of Korean luxury are on the list. Um, I just want to say, anybody see anything that fun? Chrissy? I love Oreo Speedwagon. The Oreo Speedwagon. Honda Del Sol. I saw it a while. I think when it was. Yeah, but the, that theme is so good. Mm-hmm. It is. I, I think it was when, when it was racing with Ginger Man or like one of the central races, I think. Uh, but they had p- it posted it on Facebook. And I'm pretty sure I ran it out to Chris because I was like, this is amazing. Just really good, good execution of theme there. Yeah, I'd like to point out the second roles ever entered in Lemons made uh, made the list. Definitely on the list with the Viper powered that made of like seven laps. Oh uh, yeah, a lap. Yeah, all yeah. Of three, three all laps. Three. Yeah, it was low. Uh, 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 our, our. Go ahead. I say I'm a fan of the uh, the 1993 Chrysler LeBaron. That is completely bone stock. That Spank got it at a police auction for fifty dollars and sold to someone else. And the picture of these guys just throwing the LeBaron through the corner, the tires folding over under it, the whole thing just looking like a hot mess. It's very lemony. 
Right. This is the LeBaron, not the TC by Maserati. No, no, no. no, no, is, no the LeBaron. LeBaron was the one that worked. The TC went two laps and blew up. <laughs> but the LeBaron just kept Le... going. It just kept going. And that and LeBaron and was prepped by one of the best New Orleans race shops, J. Pellegrini Motorsports. If you have a, a BMW or a PCA car, J. Pellegrini has prepared it for the track. And that thing was sidelined by a fuel filler neck, of all things, not by that horrible engine or that god-awful transmission. But that's what... And then it still managed to get back out there for that race. Mm -hmm. Do we know if that was a V6 or the four-cylinder? It was the... Okay, yeah. Mitsubishi V6. Mitsubishi, yeah. Yeah. That's a better choice. That's what made the K-Car run. Well, yeah, but that's a terrible thing. (laughs) Which is is better, the Chrysler 2.2 or the Mitsubishi V6? It's like, would you rather have herpes or gonorrhea? (laughs) (laughs) Um but our uh, our buddy uh, Dan Gilas, the Gila monster from the uh, his camper is in there, and uh, the the Don Garlitz Winds Charger Epic whole the Limitarians thing half that they Dan. had in New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. half Dan. Got a picture Which, of half Dan on there. On the God, other. That, that car should not have been as fast as it was, but that dude can drive. I, I don't know which dude it was. Is it is it half Dan who drives? We don't know, we don't know which guy it is. It's the fast guy in that car. <laughs> They always let him go at the end of the day on Sunday. <laughs> then you say, holy yeah. crap. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Awesome. Well, lots of great stuff out there. Many we didn't mention, but there we go. Read the article. Link in the show notes. Yep. Next story. Okay. So let me get back to my show notes because I was over there. This link in the show notes. It's eight lines long. All right. Uh the uh, McDads, we talked about their Lancia. They've got a Lancia Scorpion that they've been trying to piece together for a while. They're trying to get rid of it. It's on their Facebook page. The extended link, which we'll try and shorten, is in the show notes. But of even bigger news is, uh, and Eric talked about this when we had him on the show, and we're going to have him back on the show because he's just too much damn fun, is Lemons has added more rallies. Initially, they started the calendar this year with only the uh, the stalwarts, but they have added a Florida man poker run from Homestead to Key West. That's going to be at the end of April. It's actually from and- Kershaw, South Carolina, all the way to Key West. So it's a little longer than that, Mantle. Oh, now- sorry, sorry. You're right, because it's starting yep. at CMP. I missed yep. that. And, and uh, the- all the way down to the, the dong of the United States, the part that looks like we're peeing on Cuba. Mm-hmm. And they've added a up. Uh, a Banger, Michigan to Banger, New York to Banger, PA to Banger, Michigan, the four bangers rally in July. Uh, we've hey, talked Jeff. about this before is, uh, is rallies that go over the holidays don't tend to do well. And that one's over the 4th of July weekend. But I hope that oh. one works well oh, for them. Oh, I get that time off. That's a, what do you think? <laughs> Northeast? Wait, wait, what? I was asking Jeff what he thinks Uh-oh. about running there's the four, a, there's the a four Bangors. The four so Bangors. It's, it's around the Northeast, kind of, but it's all up in, up in Canada, then all the way up into northern Maine and down and back. And I'm sorry, yeah. you just asked Jeff if they wanted if you wanted to go. Does that mean that you want him to go with you? Or no, that... I was starting with asking him. Hey, Chrissy, and then I was what, you, ask what are you, you doing? What are you doing over July? Because uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> that time off. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> I believe Chrissy is the one who never says no. Do you want to go on this trip to a race? Yes. Uh, Do you want to buy a supercar? Yes. Do you want to go on One Life America? There's a difference between... She's already obligated. We've already talked. Well, there's a difference between buying an NSX and going on a banger rally again. I got bingo already. I have bingo! How is that possible that you have bingo already? Let's see it. Let's see it. I want to see it. Just, just read us what you got. What your, what your line is Jeff there. Has a uh, low battery. Yes. V- Vicky Mental's wife. Someone gets a flat tire, which was in my um, Tesla news. Oh. NSX, and then somebody says Citroen incorrectly. There you go. Oh, I got bingo. Yeah. Wow. I only oh, have Jeff didn't say so NSX. He just said supercar. I said NSX. Uh, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Waiting for. Sorry. Go ahead. We can. Well, nope. you owned anyway. it. Well done. All right. So either way, we have a lemons rallies, <laughs> including the four bangers. I, mean, bangers. I interrupted this conversation that was not going my way. Uh-oh. Going your way. It was about to go your way. We. Got, I, I have to ask someone first. So, <laughs> like. I, you want to go that way? We could totally go that way. You, you uh, guys don't watch. Not. It's never mind. You, you're not going to get that joke. Like anyway. two shiny people, object, Chrissy. <laughs> really really jeff of the four of us you're talking about people who get distracted <laughs> easily 
No, not distracted. So they also have the, they still have the Hell on Wheels and the um, Escape from Moscow, and now the World Tour yes. of Texas, which is all around Texas. Which and honestly, I, that one looks kind of fun. Uh, they're going to start at the one of the, of course one of the Lemons races in Angleton and go to San Angelo Shamrock, where Jim Connor ten. If you have not seen Jim Connor ten now. Jim Connor kind of ten goes makes a stop in Shamrock, Texas. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot. Jeff, I sent you the damn link. I know I didn't go to it. All help. your YouTube time and you're not watching. right. He's too I, busy watching last, YouTube. Last five days, I have not watched any. Okay. So busy so watching. That, and that's and honestly, that's a little bit more news and notes. Now on Amazon, they have a they've got a, a, a series called the Jim Connor kind of Files, which talks about how they've made all of the Jim Connor kind of ten, and Jim Connor kind of ten premiered and uh, to quote ken block they said if we don't break the internet we have failed i'm gonna go with they've done a pretty good job of breaking the internet because it's four different cars and four different locations it's pretty impressive i think break the internet means you have to like like the link has to die right uh no because it, it all started when kim kardashian showed her butt and you know, like, like there's people on the internet that haven't seen her butt, and they goes, "Oh, Kim Kardashian broke the internet." No, no, you didn't. Ken Block has done way more to break the internet than she ever will. Nobody uh, breaks they, the internet. It's, no nope. one breaks the internet. It's but I well, think doesn't, wreck, doesn't Obama wreck it Ralph? sold it. Obama yes. sold it five You're years right. ago. That's wreck what everybody worked Wreck it, Ralph, Ralph did. Yeah, nope. yeah. I didn't, did. I didn't see it, but yeah. Nobody All right. Did. Okay. Can we get this back together and talk about car stuff again? Yes, yes please. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so Lemon has added the rallies, and we will throw the link up to that one. And guaranteed, folks, after the first of the year, we're going to have Eric Rude back on the show to talk about all these new rally dates. We Sounds like we might have started the early conspiracy to do another rally as a crew, which is if you've listened to every episode, if you have, we're really sorry. But that's kind of how we all met. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Totally. Well, well, was banger rallies uh jeff you've got something to add for the news and notes section uh you mean that little line down there i'm just gonna say tell us uh we got new year's coming up we are all uh, yeah we are always looking for new show ideas i'm not reading what you said i'm doing it live what's written there sucks yeah. you, do, it just do it live <laughs> you wrote it, you wrote it jeff <laughs> No, uh, I did, but I, because I took away what was there before, and then I wrote something. It's fine. No, and it is actually not sucky. I just wanted to yeah, riff off my collar. Sense. So here we go. <laughs> we are looking for show ideas. We're looking for interesting people to interview. I have a couple of m- up my sleeve that I'll talk to the people about after the show. But if you know someone who's cool, you want to talk about something cool, or you'd want to hear our advice on some topic that we probably know nothing about, we are willing to do the research. So uh, drop us an email, or even better, just put it right in the iTunes review. What uh, a great show. I wish they'd do one on That's Fill what I'd like players. to see. Yeah. Or this show is terrible. It. They should do one on this. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's fine. Or how about this? This show is awesome. I just wish they'd stop talking about those dang supercars because Ferraris and Lamborghinis are awesome. If you don't believe it, check it out. Our holiday gift guide episode, Extreme Experience, has the gift that will put your loved one in the driver's seat in some of the world's best supercars at over 20 racetracks in America and Canada with no speed limits, no shifting restrictions, no governors. Head to xxspeed.com, choose your supercar, find a racetrack near you, and start making a story of your own. I had a moment with one of my distant relatives, and they said, are you still doing that supercar thing? I said, absolutely. And I had to explain the whole thing, pulled up the website. He was booking. He was like, I'm doing this. When they come to Minnesota, I'm going to do it. So he did you give knew him the discount was... code to save. T- I did give him the discount code. And how much do you save? Well, I didn't get there yet. I showed him the seven models of exotic cars to choose from. I showed him the 20 tracks. He Actually, got... we've been saying seven. Now they have seven exotic cars, but now they have eight cars because they're bringing a Hellcat on board. Well, they have more right. than seven. They just typically bring seven to each track, don't they? They have like 20 of them. But anyway, mm-hmm. all the tracks, instructors like Mental, Chris, or me in the car with you, helping you explore the car's limits and learn the racing line. I told him to make sure that he entered everyone racers. That's all one word. Everyone racers. And get 25% when you book at xxspeed.com. Extreme experience. It's your turn. Hi, Chrissy's mom. 
I just <laughs> a whole no, 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 I know we I know we want to do the, the hi Chrissy's mom. So uh, a, another Amazon box showed up in my drive uh, or showed up a, at my doorstep, and you know my wife sees the return address and rolls her eyes. Oh great, it's Chrissy's mom and Chrissy's sister, and it's a little creepy. <laughs> Uh, and then, and I was delighted because I knew it would be Chrissy's mom's cookies. So I, I, I opened the box and I pulled out the cookies. I went to work the next day and I came home and there were four cookies left in there because Vicky goes, okay, you know what? Chrissy's mom really knows how to make really good cookies and they were so good. And what do you call these? I said, the snickerdoodle. She goes, yeah, they were good. So yeah. So now True. Vicky's totally hooked on Chrissy's mom's cookies, but in that delightful package of cookies, there was a Porsche 917 long tail in the Gulf racing colors. And I believe the text Hot I sent you size, guys, right? Hot wheel size. Yeah. And I believe the text I sent you guys was squee, which I, <laughs> I, I totally stole from Steph Schrader. But I was so excited to get that. So genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, Chrissy's mom. Woot, woot. I also received a box of delicious cookies, and I also received a... A an ornament. I'm gonna get this up <laughs> nice to the camera right here. No one can see it. What is it? it? It's a little tiny Honda motorcycle. No, 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 no. It's not even a motorcycle. It's a Honda mini bike. A it's Honda CT70. C- no, no, it's not a 70. It's a 50. But that's okay. C- oh, it was li- It was listed as a 70. Oh, uh, the tank it was, shape is. It's I, still I pretty it's dope. 50. It's it's totally dope. It's totally to dope. Seven. I'm gonna write them a review now. I mean, <laughs> Chris's mom will write a review that this is, this is the wrong one. I, I definitely know that this is uh, an insider pick because I doubt your mother knows what a Honda <laughs> CT monkey bike is. But anyway, it was fantastic. You underestimate the power of Chrissy's mom. Uh, and it and it actually has like some sort of Honda bracelet like hangery thing that definitely. This definitely feels like an Etsy purchase. I'm just saying. It was a complete <laughs> Etsy purchase. Complete you can Etsy. find everything on Etsy. Everything is on Etsy. All right. Oh, Chrissy, give us our transition. Let's do our feedback. All can right. I do the so, first bit of listener feedback? No. Don't this, is not on the, this is not on the oh, show notes. I'm doing a different Jeff, one. Jeff, Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, shut up. We posted up on Facebook to find out what everyone got. And a few of you had some awesome things either given to you or you bought for yourself. Jeff, you have something. I do, but I wanted to do something before you read that. Why? Well, because it's listener feedback that doesn't have to do with Christmas. Well, you can still give it. Do it later. I'm doing mine later. Okay, wait, Chrissy, redo the intro. (laughs) Listener feedback. Here's the listener feedback. My friend Lumpy who also has a radio degree, says, your transitions are terrible. Stop yelling. <laughs> oh, you just set me up. I'm I know, sorry. but oh, I was, no, I'm the one I bet Lumpy goes, man, that is way better than when Jeff does it. No, I don't think so. no, no. He actually suggested that we produce transitions. <laughs> well, if you said that, we can tell. Has, has he met well, any of us ever? Really but, not. So radio degree. If you have time yeah, to watch YouTube, you can make up a little jingle. And then oh, we can just I absolutely can. I send thought this a, was better. Send him a link to the Garage Heroes in I Training. Will, I will. That's just not, that's not like what that. we're Then they'll stop listening to us. <laughs> it's more professional. Anyway, Danish, my boy Danish with the Mazda, with the uh, Protege 5. He got a pair of RJS SFI racing shoes and a Meguiar's decal kit from his sister, <laughs> which is something that was suggested by Chrissy. And he says, I'm pretty sure his, my sister doesn't listen to the show. So it just oh, don't know that. Yeah, you don't know, know that, Dinesh. Oh, if she did, then she'd be like, That'd what be a is shame. going on She, she has better things Make to do that... with her time, like watch YouTube videos of uh, like Jeff does. <laughs> Uh, hey, Make that hey, protege do she, shine. Do you think she could get the Citroen paperwork if we hired her? Probably. I think anyone could get it faster than Jeff. So Cameron Lopez got a custom-built intake manifold for his time trial car. It's brand new, pre-owned, but it's a great gift from him to him. That was a nice of him. sexy piece of kit. Oh, yeah. He posted, okay, awesome. He posted that, and I would hang that on. I would actually hang that in my office because that was a gorgeous. What, what, just, what kind of car was it for? I don't care. I saw well, it and I, I was like, wow, that looks really nice. That I didn't remember what car it was from. Me. <laughs> I don't know. It's a four cylinder so, of some sort, but anyway. 
James F. McGuire got himself, or I'm sorry, James F. McGuire the second got himself a detachable energy steering wheel and a Hurst short throw shifter. And I have had a detachable energy steering wheel on my last three cars, and that's actually uh, yeah, I well. I use a, a Momo steering wheel, but I always use the NRG quick release on there. So that's that's something on there. Now, I haven't had a Hurst short sh- short throw in since I had my 76 Mustang 2 Cobra 2, but that's still a good piece of equipment. Thank you for approving those purchases. <laughs> I'm sure James F. McGuire the second cares. Um, anyway, actually, that's probably a... Mental tells a story that goes nowhere. Oh crap! I just moved my it went, okay. It correlated exactly. To Fine. That okay. So I this is non Christmas news. Uh, during Christmas, my father Joe Matura, who is listener number two, three ish, um, because he Hi, listens Chris's with his dad. Yep. Uh, recently told me of a new, but I'm I'm not really sure how new or how far he's through. But an unexpected listener from his work, Levi Mat- Matulovich, uh, who says he likes our show. So thank you, Levi, for listening. That's awesome. Is that we the guy that makes the blue jeans? No. no. There are undiscovered his... tribes at the heart of the Peruvian jungle that knew you were going to make that joke, Jeff. <laughs> and? <laughs> that... and they're, they're shooting <laughs> blow darts at you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, here comes my <laughs> produced transition. All right, it's not working. This is great. <laughs> Yeah, let's do that again. I, I honestly, I expected you. I expected you to take the microphone, put it to your butt, and fart. Now it is main topic time. No yelling in the microphone. <laughs> what? Main topic. It's the post Christmas show. We are going to review all of the things that we either did or did not get from Christmas. Uh, I'm calling it audible here. If there's anything you didn't get automotive wise, we definitely want to make sure that we talk about it. So uh, we are all adults and we know we get boring stuff. So I got pants and socks everywhere. Woo, pants! Right? Well, better I, than I not actually, having pants. Three or four times opened up a package and went, ooh, pants. <laughs> were the people no. in the same room that when you opened the pants? Yeah. Like were the same. No, 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 no. It was like because multiple Christmases happened in my oh. life. Were they so everybody the right size? Things... Yeah, but yes, they are actually. Oh. So I, I, I needed more office clothes because I, I ruin pants. It happens, and well, that's because you, because you tend to break into students' cars, and yes. when you walk across the parking lot, you can't help but help somebody fix their, you did whatever yes. broke. It was a piece Volvo. Of... Yes, <laughs> um, but I also spill my lunch a lot, so. <laughs> I eat at my desk. But anyway, no, but seriously, I got cold weather clothing. I was very jealous of Chris's fleece lined pants. Mm-hmm. He wears them when we work on a car and he always looks warm. And I'm like, damn, I should have warmer pants. So I bought some and they were too short. So the lovely and talented Jennifer got me the right size for Christmas. Yay. And a Sherpa lined hoodie to go with it. I will be so warm when I wrench. I'm very excited. So they Fantastic. skinned a Sherpa yeah, for your... Isn't a Sherpa your... the g- a guy? Oh, yeah. that's like the woolly... It's like fake wool. No, the wool. Sherpa's, Sherpa's, Sherpa's the, is guy. the guy who, who helps you walk up the <laughs> yeah. hill. So suddenly this took, a, sh- this took a very disturbing line. turn. Of, uh... <laughs> it is outlined with human. It is lined with <laughs> fake... Sheep <laughs> shearing. Silence that's, of the lambs. That's not, Sher- that's not Sherpa. That's Sherpa is a person that guides you into the Himalayas. We just covered we that. Just so they, they stole He's a coat well from a poor ne- Nepalese oh. man and lined his <laughs> pants with it. All he does oh. is walk up and down. The Second, I'm calling Alexa. Alexa, what's a Sherpa line? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to so, tell you you're wrong. <laughs> anyway. Uh, it's it's fuzzy fake sheep lined hoodie and it's wonderful and it's warm and I wrapped it around myself and fell asleep on the couch last night and didn't wake up until 5 a.m. It was very exciting. So my brother and a few others got me some tool money. Tool money. I'm very excited. Uh, I'm going to add something to my Milwaukee M18 set and I have two choices and I'm throwing it out to the people here and all of the listeners, all 12 listeners in listener land to help me make my decision. 
So I am slowly replacing all of my crappy Ryobis with better Milwaukee's. And I have a wonky reciprocating saw. So I can get the good brushless, like, Milwaukee M18 reciprocating saw to replace my slightly wonky Ryobi. Or I can get a new tool that I don't have. And then new have tool. a... New tool. Wait! What is I didn't it? even say what it is. It might be an electric <laughs> anal probe. Mantle's like, yeah, it's new. Get it. Anal probes. Woo. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> if, if, if it's a tool you don't have but, versus a tool you do have, how, is, how's the conversation? Are we, is anybody drunk? This Especially is a messy show. Especially use only. <laughs> so I, I'm again going to mention get it. a YouTube channel. He uh, wasn't so, there, Chris. So you get it. I've mm-hmm. been... I've been ODing on tool reviews on YouTube, and there's this guy named Sam Crack who rebuilds cars, and he swears. Yeah, Sam Crack just got a, an Audi. Yes. He swears by his electric to him. 3 8 ratchet that is Milwaukee, and it's it like does 65 pounds of torque, and when it gets to 65, it stops so it doesn't break anything, and it doesn't like rick your knuckles into the side of the car. It's like... Chris, yeah. you're shaking your head no. Why? Because I think I'd rather have a nice 3 8 impact gun. Like, I have my little middle little Makita one, and that is so handy. I and have one of them. 3 8 Do you use it? I, I really don't. Yeah. No, I, I actually, I don't. I, I have. I don't I feel have. I feel like any... you used it plenty at our house. It's a thing. I, I don't have. I have I, the I've got a drive. Milwaukee impact gun, and I use the crap out of it. Hmm. So, I'd say. I'm going to use, if you have the 3 8 impact gun, the little one. I, d- I don't have the 3 8 impact gun. I have the impact driver. Uh, which... Totally different. The impact yeah. gun is you can put the socket on. And that yeah, yeah, yeah. is super handy. And it's a little one, and it doesn't over. T- it's really not easy to not over-tighten things. As long as you don't just sit there and hammer on the thing, it won't over-tighten. Um, I find it to be incredibly useful. And, uh, yeah. And I, re- like, even though I had air tools, I still do. I had air tools everywhere. I still wasn't using the air three eighths ratchet like ever so, yeah 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 because you've got to fire up the compressor and you got yeah, the electrical that's what right says. there you just, you just grab it is... well but even yeah. when i had the compressor fired up and i was using air tools all over the place i still almost never used a three eighths air ratchet but i use my three well, eighths impact all the time well but is it because it's the air because this is being an electric no three eighths ratchet it wasn't as handy like uh, the impact is the way to go Mm. That it, it, it's because it's it's electric. It's battery powered. It's right there. Just put your hand on yeah. it. Grab it. No hoses. Well, no, this, the no one bus, I was saying. No yeah. He's also looking he, at another electric one. But I think the the three eighths impact is more useful. I it, think than the ratchet. Than but the, hey, the, the who knows? Ratchet. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. Mm. Things that make you go. <laughs> mm. Well, that was what I got for Christmas. So there it is. Okay, fantastic. Chris, what'd you get? Chris? I got um, a gift that Jeff and Chrissy both know about, but will also both will appreciate as much, if not more, than I will, because they end up doing this job, a pneumatic rivet gun. We use rivets fairly oh, yeah. regularly in our builds and things. Like the front of the Civic probably has 40 on it. Um, yeah, and, uh, <laughs> all, of, all of the rivets. Yeah. Well, and we've had to redo it. Oh, a couple of times. We've had to redo it 40 many times a couple times so yeah instead of sitting there cranking on the thing until your hands hurt oh, you have to trade it. off now there's a tool that will just make it happen and that seems like a better idea absolutely well, when you shook it you're like it's broken it's broken because <laughs> all of the rivets must have been like in the whatever they give you well, it was just all over the box it was broken well when because you hear metal the rivets th- are going like, all over the- things clattering around in the box it's broken <laughs> <laughs> yes, mental. Well, and I, I, that's actually a brilliant pre- – we've taught, we've hinted at this, and we've never had a direct show about this, and we probably should. But it's gotten to the point now where this team, specifically you three guys, you've taken most engines as far as they're going to go and still be reliable. And so now the next great frontier of speed and handling is going to come down to aerodynamics. And we – we, you, you three, you did a bunch of arrow work on the ombre and 
having driven the ombre at New Jersey and then driven the ombre at Road Atlanta, there was a marked difference in the in the performance of that truck. And you guys were talking about the Honda. And I haven't driven the Honda with Arrow, but everyone else on here has talked about, oh, my God, it's so much better with Arrow. So that's that's a perfect tool for yeah. basically where the three pedal mafia is going. We, for record, we didn't really do much of the Arrow and the Ombre. Alan did the whole front splitter thing. I, I made the roof thing for the wing, which looks ridiculous, but I think it was effective. It works. So. It looks ridiculous, but it works. Yeah. It is. The car is just much more stable. Yeah. We, use, we use rivets for other things, though. There's yeah. plenty of metal to metal there or a hold, ton of hold these yes. things. Yeah. Yeah. We just find it like this is going to be better because... We could use self-tapping screws, but they're expensive or they're just they, not in the right spot. But well, the, the self-tappers don't hold and all that probably well. Right, the Jeff. And, uh, That's really what it is. Yeah. Drill a hole. I think, I think more precise than self-tappers do. Self-tappers in the wander. Sorry, we had some internet all issues. You did. Yeah. Everybody got okay. weird and slow and so. Yeah. Anyway, we're mostly back. Check it off your bingo card. Inter- yep, someone has internet. She's good. <laughs> yeah, so it is. I, I actually have that one. Oh, good. Cool. Did we lose Chrissy? No, she just she turned her video off, off to help. No, she just turned off the case. Video. Now, yeah. oh, well, I am recording and uh, so, so we're, we're, we're doing okay with we're this. We're good. One. All right. So anyway, rivets are nice because self tappers work themselves loose. They can't really hold things tight. Getting a bolt and nut on things sometimes is difficult, and it it. Here's my race car. It weighs a little more than a nice aluminum rivet. Um, so I didn't realize that was a thing. Uh, yeah. And plus, then I, I run out of that little M- metric six size of bolt and nut because I got lots of the bolts, but very few of the nuts. I should order a box of those. <laughs> uh, anyway, I also got a set of fireplace tools coming. that are not horribly ugly brass like the ones that came with the house that were just horrific to look at but were effective. And so we've been using them for the last nine years because they worked, but they're terrible. So now, with the, especially the rest of the first floor is done, they really stood out like a sore thumb. They didn't fit. So Chrissy very nicely got me some funkier looking ones that are st- silver and twisted. and they're, they're nice. I like them. Uh, and got things like a sweater and a belt and a lamp. You know, I love lamp. See, we, we thanks. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The lamp is pretty cool. Lamp is pretty cool. It's like a ring. It looks almost like a Dyson fan. You know, those fans are just open in the middle. Ooh, um, yeah, yeah. Except that it's made of bent wood. And the way you turn it on is there's a there's a um, a string with a wooden ball hanging in the middle of it. And there's another one at the bottom, and you reach the one at the bottom up to the one at the top, and they magnetically hold about half an inch from each other. And oh, that's yeah, turns yeah, a, That's I've what turns that. the light on. Have you? I have. Ooh. Yeah, and the yeah. light's on the inside. It's really... So oh, did, that, did that come from uh, a sharper image or the Touch of Modern catalog? Uh, uh, the Museum of Modern MoMA. Art. Ooh, MoMA. Oof. Mm-hmm. Chrissy. Love the MoMA. Well, the, well oh, no. Oh, no, I didn't buy it. <laughs> no. Oh, no. That was my mom. Good idea, but no. Oh, yeah, yeah. no. Okay. All right. Chrissy, okay. what'd you get? I got a lot of stuff for myself. I got a reusable grocery bag. I got some post-it notes. I got some lotion. Yep. And uh, an immersion blender Chrissy, that I put myself. Chrissy, Chrissy, Chrissy write, write, your, write yourself a post-it note that says no one ever buys post-it notes. <laughs> I think they're a handy, fun extra thing. I think he's saying you just steal them from the office. Oh, what? no, I want colors. Please. You're right. I'm like, um, yes, I'm, I'm not on video. By, anymore. by the way, can't... I was asleep until you said immersion blender. Please go back to that. <laughs> so I, bought, I, I immer- love my immersion blender. Do you? What do you I make do. with it? Everything. Okay, so I bought myself an immersion blender when I bought myself a couch uh, seven, eight weeks ago. So because I bought myself a couch, I had rewards for Crate and Barrel. I bought myself okay, an immersion I, I, blender. Yeah. I'm glad you explained that because I want to know how a couch and a blender are related. All right, good. Sure. Okay. And for fours, I, room. <laughs> I bought myself an immersion blender. I put it in the cabinet, and then Chris took it out of the cabinet and wrapped it. Nice. So there's We that. were having a minimalist um, Christmas. We were trying to not have too many presents. And then all of a sudden, the last minute, 
Oh, I need another one. Well, it hadn't been opened yet. It was on my list of stuff that she wanted, but she went and bought it herself a couple of weeks before Christmas. I'm sorry. I actually got it for free. So you yeah. should just let it. Yeah. Okay. So I got it boring adult stuff. Chris did get me a pair of cozy pink flip flops. Uh, oh, we broke mental. We, we've here. lost mental. Uh-huh. Yeah. He's done. I. Yes. I, I just love that. You, oh, we're doing a minimalist Christmas. Crap. She bought more stuff than I did. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'll wrap this thing. She's and that has to be like the most, that is like buying that is like buying clothes when you're eight years old and putting that under the tree. Sure. Guys, it's crap I don't want. Or oh, yay, I got this great big box of this thing I already yeah, have. Yeah. Oh, I didn't I didn't even get <laughs> oh. I didn't even get I'm not done yet. Hold on. Now, this is so, the how terrible is Chris time. So, No, I was going to gloss over it, but I can't. I already had the last <laughs> yeah. it. So. Yeah. How terrible is Chris? Uh, I got some wine charms. Shh, shh, shh. Really... Let, her, let her get there. Let her get there. <laughs> I, I got some slippers, uh, and then I fell down the stairs, which was a little sad because the slippers were too big. <laughs> and, like, I they actually, call them slippers. I legit fell down the stairs. Uh, they do have a sole on them, but they were too big. So um, I got some wine charms, which I ex- What's your asked job for. again, Chrissy? <laughs> I mean, they were shoes. I'm wearing shoes anyway. Um, so I also got some batteries for your boring adult stuff. Uh, no, they're just a box of. AAA Everyone else batteries. got it. Don't even bother. Oh, they, <laughs> yes, I did, and I'm trying to make sure that you understand the gravity of the situation. That I received a box of batteries. <laughs> I think it's a wonderful <laughs> gift because you can always well, use batteries. Question: Considering question. considering how well Chris did at Christmas. Your boring adult stuff might need a lot of batteries in the future. <laughs> Just... Question. Question. Yes, Jeff. Yes, Jeff. These are all double A's. <laughs> do you have lots of things? Like, do you have lots of flashlights? Yes. Do you have? Yes. Yeah, like, yes. Like... We use the flight. He uses the flashlights. Like, Not me. <laughs> no, no. What I'm saying is my son goes through double A batteries like they're Tic Tacs because he has... <laughs> A thousand things. This is next week. So so the worst gift that he got you isn't even for you. He bought you a horrible gift and he's going to use it himself. It's for both of us. See, I don't think this is horrible. I'm I'm in the camp. They're practical. I'm in the camp here. You buy me something that needs a battery and then you give me (laughs) battery. Then great. But I just got a box of batteries, and I also got a. It's for a gift us that present. keeps on giving all year. <laughs> Every time you'll get a battery I'm out, you'll serious. say, "This is a great gift." I need a big box of batteries. You're not supposed to be siding with him. I'm yes, not. He is. He can, I, practical. Honestly, if it Chris had bought Jeff the big box of batteries, that would be a great thing. But you bought. Thank the big you. Box of no wait. Thank no, you. no. And you're going to use all of her big batteries. This is actually worse than wrapping the blender she already had. I like the blender, too. I, I bought great. the blender. Thank you, the Jeff. The blender's a great gift, but it's a terrible idea to pull it from the cabinet and wrap it. I, 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 I see who's on my side. I, I cannot defend Chris on that one. <laughs> I did not wrap up the brake bleeder that my wife already knew that was in existence <laughs> because she said, here, wrap it and put it under the tree. And I was like, that's dumb. You already know it exists. Oh, I'll just leave the carpet. <laughs> well, okay, should I'm we done. just read mental? Since yes. he can't? <laughs> Go for it. Me- mental got so, nothing so, car related. I got nothing. And Vicky and I did a minimalist Christmas. We just did the stocking stuffers. Uh, and she picked out a pair of socks from Supernatural from Hot Topic. So I had to go into a Hot Topic, socks. and it's still full of booty oh. uh, goth teenagers. And they're not even like really good goth teenagers. Wow. Your hair is not nearly one. long enough. And you need more makeup. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, but uh, she actually, she got me a bunch of, of just like cool little things. I got a drone, which, you know, again, oh. everybody, everybody got a drone two years ago, but I got a drone from my parents. But this is the cool thing is I ordered myself that Woot deal on those Oakley Carbon X underwear, which are SCI, SFI rated. It was like 25 bucks for the pair. And oh, you, I missed that deal. I think they'll be here like next week. Yeah, we, no. We, mine we, are going to be here. Mine are going to be here this week. I just got oh. the the wait, email. Wait, is this still available? No, no it's, it's one day. No, it's one day. 
Darren, uh, Big Sexy. So thanks, Big Sexy. Yep. He, he sent out the link to all of us on that group text that we're on. He goes, hey, whoop deal on underwear. I'm like, holy crap. I didn't yeah. get that text. I Chris, would have ordered them. Chris and I ordered right away. We're like, yeah, we'll, <laughs> yeah, we we'll both take one. Well, actually, Chris was going to take one. And I was like, I might as well get one myself. Yeah. So I've got my pyro, I've got my pyrotech, but uh, and and they're they're good, but I think these Oakleys fit better, and they'll probably be better for some of these cold weather races. The Carbon X's are excellent. I've seen them. Yeah, don't yeah. own a pair. So there it is. Yeah. Thanks to Big Sexy. Thanks for not including me on the email. You 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 were in the group text, There's and no if I have I to, I'll break. All right, so here's where mental All right. up his damn phone. No, no, it's yeah. okay. Let's just move on. <laughs> it's time for on the spot. We're going to move on to the final section of our of our lovely podcast this evening. It is called On the Spot. We will have a question. I will throw it out to the crew. If they already know the answer, please go last. Uh, if you go down in the show notes, you will see the new Porsche, the 100% electric Porsche. It has – I'm looking. I don't think I was there. Anyway, uh, this – you have to hold a little bit to the side. I can see it. Over, over, other way. I've moved on. I've yep, moved there's on. definitely Keep a going. Jeff Wakeman on that. I yep. see that. I yep. don't <laughs> trust it. Uh, here's the deal. This new electric Porsche, uh, it has a name, T A Y C A N. It will be M O U I C. Yes, all new electric car. The question is, how does one pronounce this car? Oh, we're going to go around the horn. We're going to ask everybody. Mental, how do you pronounce it? Tacan. Tacan. Chrissy, how do you pronounce it? Tacan. Tacan. Chris, how do you pronounce it? All right. Tacan. Tacan. The the, the small SUV, M-A-C-A-N. The Macan. Or not Macan. 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 Macan is an O-N. Right, and that's a, a sat town in Georgia. And so, if the, if this if if that one is called the Macan, short this answer one is, is this the, is the t- Tacan. 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 Are you already Porsche has Porsche? Excuse me, pronounce everything correctly. Uh-huh. Since that's what it's about, has a 19 second YouTube video called "How to Pronounce." Here it comes. Tycon. 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 Wait, it just says this over and over again? It, it, it's nice. It's got a little picture of the car going back and forth. I think it, that came up on my techno remix on my channel on Spotify. Tycon. 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 Does that mean it is a, it's a Micon, the SUV? No. I don't know. Spelled the same way, right? None of it's the German pronunciation where you say every letter. No. It means means officially Porsche makes more SUVs than they do sports cars, which means they've completely lost their way. No, this is a a sports car. This is an all- No. It's like a Panamera. No, it's it's not. There's four doors. It's not a sports car. It's a Panamera, basically. Chrissy, go ahead. What do you got on this? I wish it was the Taycan. (laughs) Taycan? Because that's how it's spelled. T-A-Y-C-N. The Taycan. Well, that's how people Uh, in Georgia will say it. Damn, damn, Skip, I got one of them new Porsche yeah, take hands. You Porsche. Got, they'll just say Porsche. They hey, bro, you Porsche. got a place I can plug his sucker in. Yeah. So my porch. The new, <laughs> my porch. The new Taycan. Did I say Taycan. right? I think I screwed it up. New Taycan will start in the low $90,000 range. It comes in three variants. Are you ready for this? Taycan, Taycan 4S, and Taycan Turbo. It does not have a turbo. It just has the biggest electric motors. Yeah, they've they've now made it so that they just use the turbo one on the fastest one because, like the, the 911, they're all turbos now. Every single exactly. one has turbo charger. So the, the, the one yeah, with the yeah, biggest the turbo charger is the tur- turbo. I do love how you linked to Amazon for the turbo though in the show notes, and it's just all these. Oh, all I just I just cut and paste that from <laughs> from something. I don't remember what I threw the one from. Anyway, <laughs> there it is. I don't think any of us got it right. I don't. I listened to it ten times. I still don't think I can say it. Taycan. Taycan. My porch Taycan. Taycan. Porch Taycan. The first one I see, I'm going to be like, you got nice Taycan. Rhymes with Taycan. going to be like, what? That sounds like Donna from Oklahoma. Taycan. So, so does it or does it not 
rhyme with the nut from South Carolina that they make the pies out of? Pecan. Well, see, there's pecan. No, no just stop. Pecan. You're pecan? not. You're not going to get it right because first off, you're trying to enunciate and you're already going down the wrong I, path. I can't help it. Pecan. <laughs> Porch. All right. Think of it. Think of it as a a can that you would keep in your room so that you don't have to leave in the middle of the night if you have to pee. <laughs> Look, the link Bed to can. the the link to the Pink 19 can. second video will be in the show can. notes. That, Let's no, move on. Terrible. Let's start talking about our next show. Somebody think of a better. Uh, we we haven't done on, we haven't done a, a hella sweet, sweet but, terrible. but terrible in a very long time so someone come up with them well, next honestly next i i i think the early intro where chris asked jeff out on a uh, uh <laughs> on a date and chrissy and i decided that uh she's going to do a rally with somebody who doesn't wrap her own blender up for christmas <laughs> yep i mean it, it's nice that you just asked him in front of me <laughs> Well, I had to ask you are someone bat- first. You are batting a thousand, Chris. I, I, think, <laughs> I think Chris just assumes she's going. I don't think that's yeah. fair. I think when we went on one lap, we had a long, hard conversation about that. That because included of, like buying an expensive German car. Which is the best car ever. Right? Yeah. 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 And taking a week off and driving forever and driving all of the racetracks and stuff. By the way, there is no limit. You could take your Mercedes. That would just be the wimp way out. No. Mm-hmm. Take the no. NSX, too, but... Mm. That, yeah, that would actually sure be it. okay. If you're going to do it, do it proper. Yeah, because you're <laughs> staying in hotels and stuff. Um, oh, it's so, terrible to drive. Uh, it's so bad to drive on the highway. Not It's even better. fine driving. It's uh, bad. Uh, commuter bringing a lot of crap with you is what I'm trying yeah, to say. There's no storage yeah, space but in it's the a lemons rally. Yeah. It's a lemons rally, and it's a Honda. What, what do you need to bring? Nothing. Clothes. Yes. 10 exactly. millimeters. What'd you say? Yes. What'd you say yesterday? Last week, Chris? 10, 10 12, millimeter. 14, 17, 19. There you go. Done. Done. That's the car. Snacks. Yeah. I need so, snacks. Yeah. It's snacks. All right. Uh, so I'd like to point out. So uh our good friends over at the Garage Heroes in Training, which I've been catching up on all my episodes of, and and literally it's it's it I love Bill. I, I love Vicky even more, and I really got to talk to Alan down at Road Atlanta, but it it's us. It's seriously, it, that is alarmingly creepy us. Like, you know, they could make a horror movie about the podcast that copies us and then does everything that we do, except a little bit better because it's polished. So they're already talking about their New Year's resolution show. So go over, listen to the Garage Heroes in Training. Actually, it, it is a, it's a great show. It's what we do eight years ago. Because uh, they are coming to this just wide eyed and that sort of thing. But they're talking about their New Year's resolution show. So go listen to that one and then come listen to what the old, bitter, crusty people are building for our New Year's resolutions. Because we've been doing this now since 2009, damn it. And we're just ten, tired ten. and, yeah, and we're broke. Uh, so, I got into it a little bit before we did. Well, no, no. I think we started flirting with each other in 2009 during the Warburg. Warburg was nine. I'll say, yeah. The, yeah, Warburg was nine. Warburg was yeah. 10, I thought. Well, we started nope, building like, it. In, uh, it raced in 10. True. Yeah. It raced it in 10. You're right. <laughs> so, so, wait, so our next show, and, and honestly, we want to hear about your New Year's resolutions, and we'll, we'll do this like we did last year. There's going to be the racing portion, what we want to do racing-wise, and that's actually going to be interesting this year because – Three Pedal Mafia is going nationwide. We're, we're going to be on both coast and in the south next year. So we're going to be talking about that. We're going to talk about what our personal goals are. And I would think I would and not trying to kiss up right now. The model for this has been Chrissy because she set very definitive, measurable goals about what she wanted to attain on track this year. While the rest of us were just kind of coasting in laurels. And so Chrissy I'd like made to quit sniffing glue. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to get my hair if back. I quit, if I quit, <laughs> you know, I can afford one of them tay cans. Yep. Tycon. I know, tay can. Tay can. Tycon. Tycon. That's what I want for Christmas is a tay can. <laughs> Tycon. So, but, uh, so we're going to seriously talk about our resolutions because we've had this conversation off pod about really what we want to do and some good measurable goals. And I, I, to that end, like, 
we we've talked about what we've done. So we'll, we'll be contrasting that with what we will all go back and listen to last uh, year's resolution show and see where we stand and what we're going to do about that. And if you've got new year's resolutions, sincerely, we want to hear them. So tack them up there. Even if it's something goosey of, I want to lose 20 pounds because that's non rotating unsprung mass that I don't have to haul around in a race car. Then let us know about that. Or if you want to trim two seconds off your best my, road Atlanta time, how you want to do it rotates. It comes, it goes, it comes, it goes. <laughs> comes, it brings five extra. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's kind so, of stuff. So let's for... switch resolutions. Yeah, Chris, go ahead. No, just that's great. Let's hear about that. About if you want to quit sniffing glue or uh, whatever else it might be. <laughs> you want to we're, take hand? Yeah, we're all supporting take it. Hand. Yep. Oh, it's been a rough show. <laughs> Everybody shot out of a cannon tonight. <laughs> Thank you for downloading us. We hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Everyone Racers. We hope you'll join us in the world of driving, racing, and building because everyone can be a racer, even you. If you enjoyed this podcast, subscribe. It's totally free. Then go to iTunes. Give us a five-star rating. Even if you hate us, give us five stars. Tell us why. If you have any questions or show ideas, drop a comment on our Facebook page, Everyone Racers, or email us at everyone.racers at gmail.com find us on instagram twitter at everyone racers thanks again and until next week keep the shiny side of your make take on up <laughs> take can. I can. called it make on your take can up unless there is no shiny side then just keep your take can wheels down thank you